I know I haven't been playing much guitar on this channel lately, it's just I've been working on a lot of stuff, okay? But those videos will be back, I promise. Buckle up your seatbelts, guys, because today we're going to talk about five reasons that you should still buy the MS50G or any MS series pedals in 2023 to shoegaze. First reason why you should pay attention to these zoom pedals is that they are affordable and they have a lot to offer. I think that's been said, that's been widely spoken, that's why I chose this as the first point, so we can just get it over with and get over to the next points, but it offers distortions, it offers delays, fuzzes, basically everything that a shoegazer might need in terms of effects for guitars. Yeah, this is an extremely good bang for the buck, okay? That's the first reason. Second reason now, and personally, that's the reason why I bought this pedal to begin with, playing live with versatility. This pedal uh, just occupies the size of one pedal on your pedal board because it's very small, and since it's extremely powerful, you can use it to recreate very lush sounds and to create very beautiful sonic soundscapes live. Personally, I bought the Zoom MS50G to recreate a pedal that I use in the studio a lot. This pedal right here is the Supernatural by Digitech. This pedal is really nice. I use it a lot to record with my band. It's probably my favorite reverb pedal. And honestly, I wouldn't like to take that pedal live and risk it, <laughs> you know, being spilled drinks over or anything like that. You know, these kinds of things happen. And after it happened to me once, not with this pedal, luckily, uh, I never took these pedals live anymore. So I bought this to recreate the sounds that I use with the Supernatural in the studio live and it works flawlessly. And also, you can use this to recreate the sounds of other expensive pedals, such as the Hardwire V7, because this offers reverse and gated reverbs as well. The second reason is the reason why I bought it personally, which is to recreate these expensive reverbs live without having to take the original pedals and yeah, see if someone spills drinks over it, I'll be fine. I can just grab another one. Third reason, if you're a starting guitar player and you want to get into shoegaze or actually any other alternative rock genre or any genre for that matter because this pedal is extremely powerful, but these genres in particular, uh, because the Zoom MFs 50G offers lots of effects and alternative rock and shoegaze and guitars uh, have lots of effects. So this pedal is extremely useful if you're starting to play the guitar and you don't want to, you know, grab lots of pedals at first. You just want to grab one simple moody effect that's capable of doing uh, from amp synths all the way to fuzzes and many distortions. 
and reverbs and delays and modulation with very high quality, then this pedal is amazing for that. It has a lot of quality and it offers a lot. It's also in a small package, which for me is very useful. I started playing the guitar with a Boss ME25, which is not exactly big, but for my standards today, it's kind of big. And this one is way smaller than that. And honestly, I think it's more powerful and I like the quality of these effects some more. So yeah, that's it. If you want to try lots of effects and get to know uh, effects and pedals and stuff, this is a really great way to start and it sounds good. You're going to have a lot of quality straight away. Fourth reason, if you are a producer, a pedal like that is amazing because you can use it to recreate all the sounds that you might not have in your collection. For example, regarding modulations on this thing, there are lots and lots of options. I do have some modulation pedals here in my collection that I like to use. But if I do not have certain effect and I want to experiment with it in a track, in a part of a song, this is extremely useful because I can simply hook it up and test it out. One example that I've used this on home production already is using this as a bass synth. So we turned my bassist's bass <laughs> into a bass synth using this pedal because we do not have any other bass synth pedal around and getting hold of one would be expensive. And for the project that we were doing, we we're recording songs for a movie, a project that I took on uh, in 2021. This proved itself to be extremely useful because I could just hook it up and change the sound of the instrument as I liked. I also use this on guitar extensively on that project because of the high quality of the effects that it offers. Uh, I used many reverbs and many distortions. So yeah, this is a context of music production that I used this on and I love the results, okay? It sounded amazing. Uh, regarding modulations and reverbs and delays and even distortions and fuzzes, why not? But I used in that context modulations and stuff and the bass synth, and it sounded amazing. So yes, this is a really nice tool if you want to have a multi-effect capable of doing lots of weird sounds and maybe you don't want to spend money buying like, you know, one pedal for each effect you're going to use. Maybe guitar is just like one of the layers of your music production. And so yeah, in that case, this is quite useful and I can't recommend it it sounds really good and you have stereo out so you can record stereo it sounds amazing so yeah for production this sounds really nice it's very portable and easy to replace and for me that's a very important factor when i'm taking stuff live because here in brazil personally we never really know what we're going to find in the place we're going to gig. So taking gear that I can replace easily and if it breaks, I can just get a hold of in a store nearby or anything like that is very useful. So the fact that it's very portable and easy to replace, at least not as expensive as this for me, okay? This is what I'm having <laughs> as a reference when I'm thinking about uh, easy, it being easy to replace, you know, but yeah, it's very easy to replace and I can just get a hold of another zoom pedal and redo my patches, which personally are not that uh, complicated, are not that complex. I usually use one or two effects at the same time. Five is portability and versatility to uh, replace in case it breaks up or in case something happens, okay? So that's it guys, thanks a lot for watching. This was five reasons why you should still buy the MS50G or any MS pedal in 2023 for shoegaze. I'm thinking about doing a video with five, uh, you know, reasons not to buy this and to go for something else. 
in 2023 for a shoegaze. I don't know if you guys would like that. I love this pedal. This is one of my favorite pedals. I love it to use live and to, you know, use it here in the studio to compare stuff. It's very versatile. We really like it. It's a great tool. And yeah, comment below, please, what you like the most about the MS50G and if I should create more content with that pedal, if that's still relevant to you. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching. I hope I do see you next time. Consider subscribing and goodbye.